Hello. Uh, forgot to make a morning video. Um, today is the 22nd, I think. Yes. Today is May 22nd, and I have come about three and a half miles. It's almost three o'clock. So that's not great speed, but it was a steep uphill, and I was slow getting going. Also, I took a a long break by the river before I left the river this morning. Hopped in, went for a quick swim. I don't know how bad, well, not as so much of a swim as a wade. The the uh, water pressure was pretty hard. But, um, anywho, uh, I'm almost to the shelter, which is my goal for the day. Uh, just heard a rumble of thunder, but I still see blue skies. So, hopefully I don't get rained on too hardly. Good morning, everybody. It is uh, May 23rd. I am just leaving the Edge Gallery Shelter, uh, where I spent the night. Um, I'm not sure how far I'm going to go today. It's a little cooler than it was yesterday, which is good. Uh, we had some rain this morning. Uh, it's supposed to rain this afternoon. Um, there's a shelter in four and a half miles. I'm not really looking to stop there. That's a little too soon. But then the next shelter's at nine miles. So, not ideal. Um, we'll see how the day plays out. Um, I might just push. You know, really not supposed to stealth camp in Maryland. <clears throat> and there's not really any comments in far out about possible stealth camps. So that's a little awkward. I don't want to do nine today. But I don't want to do four and a half either. Uh, tomorrow I'll be getting to the Dahlgren. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, campsite where there's a shower and a road that I'll, I'll be using to resupply. Um, but also I'm gonna have to try to find a fuel canister. I'm running low. Should have bought one back when I was at Walmart. I didn't think about that. My mistake. Hey guys, check out what I just found. Right in the middle of the trail. The robin's egg. Well, half of one. Isn't that cool? Somebody's gonna step on it. But I'm not gonna spin it. In order for me to move it, I would have to bend it over and pick it up. Although, there's a piece of trash there. I should bend over and pick that up. All right, I'll move it. All right, I, unfortunately, I crushed it a little when I picked it up. It's incredibly fragile. I'll take it over here and dump it off the side of the trail. So this is Gaflin State Park. Uh, I'm not going to go and read all the signs. I know I usually do, but I'm not going to do that today. Sorry. But it is pretty. There's just too many signs. There's at least 10 signs around here, and I'm not going to read them all. Sorry, guys. But, uh... Heading up to the shelter, it's about a half a mile away. I didn't do much hiking today, uh, but I needed to charge my battery, and there was an outlet, so I sat here for a couple hours and charged my outlet, or charged my, uh, my backup battery for my phone, so. Alright, so, not sure where exactly the trail is. Good morning, everybody. It is May 24th. I have basically no food in my pack again. I think I got a packet or two of ramen and a single mashed potatoes, which is not great. I did eat a, a Shin Black Ramen this morning. Uh, Shin Ramen has 600 calories, 670 calories, something like that, and um, 15 grams of protein. So I'm not completely starving, but uh, I have seven miles to go today. To get to a road um, where I can go into town and get a resupply. The road I was at well, yesterday didn't have any towns nearby. So, um, also the seven miles yesterday is a very, very long, like four miles of continuous ups. So that's not great. But uh, it's what it is. It's only like 1,500 total. Uh, no, that wasn't that. I think I only have like 600 feet of up or something. I'm not sure. I'll post it in the comment. I'll post it in the 
when I edit this. But uh, anyway, uh, also the temperatures are going to be in the 80s today. So again, not ideal. Uh, looks like next week's going to be a little cooler, and that'll be nice. Uh, but I got to push it through. So I will talk to you later on. So the temperature is only 70 degrees according to my phone, but the humidity has got to be really high because I've barely walked three tenths of a mile and I'm sweating bullets already. Um, there's a part of me that's tempted to go back down the hill and to where I was to the state park I was at yesterday and try to hitch into this town. It's not that far, like eight miles. Hell, I could road walk that in four hours. But, um, I'm not doing that. I'm continuing forward up this hill, despite feeling like I'm starving to death. I just gotta embrace this whole I'm always starving feeling, because I can't carry enough food to keep my stomach full. Um, I think it's time to dump the sriracha. It doesn't have any calorie value. I love it. I love adding it to my food. Uh, if I do dump the sriracha, which is sad because I just bought a brand new bottle at Harper's Ferry, um, if I, if I dump the sriracha, then I've also got to dump the mashed potatoes. I can't eat the mashed potatoes without the sriracha. I just, it's revolting. It really, it really is. Um, when I was at the Walmart, I got a couple packets of the beef, barbecue beef that everybody raves about. They were okay, but I ate them, and they didn't last very long. They didn't do much to, to make the mashed potatoes taste any better. So uh, I won't be preparing any more of those, I don't think. <sighs> um, I'm not sure what I'm going to eat. I just want to eat everything in the site. Uh, so anyway, continuing north on the trail, not road walking. And yes, it looks like I'm going downhill right now, which is weird since I have 600 feet of uphill today. But whatever. I am going north. I am on trail. And despite it look like, looks like I'm going downhill, I'm actually going uphill. So, whatever. I'll talk to you later. This out. It's too early in the season. They're not ripe yet, but those are blueberries. Isn't that cool? So, I have no idea what this is. It looks almost like a grape, but it's on this plant right here. I have no idea what that is. I'd be very interested to know if anybody knows what this plant is. More berries that aren't ripe yet. Either blackberry or, or raspberry. Can't tell at this stage. But they'll be edible, edible eventually. There's also some mushrooms in there. I don't know what kind of mushrooms they are. They don't look like chicken of the woods. So. Well, I made it to the viewpoint. Sat down, took a break. Put my pad down because so, I didn't want to sit on the rocks. Uh, so this is white rocks. Oh, I think it's white rocks. Yeah, white rocks trail. Hey guys, it's one o'clock. I'm two and a half miles away from my goal for the day. It means I've done uh, about four and a half miles, which is, you know, pretty good. It's only about one o'clock, so I've only been hiking since 9.30. Uh, I probably should have, I need to start uh, getting out on the trail earlier so I can take a midday nap, because it's getting hot, uh, but whatever. Um, I texted my friend. Hopefully she gets back to me. Uh, she lives in southern PA and I'm looking forward to seeing her. Uh, in the flesh, as it were. We spent years playing World of Warcraft together. She was my guild leader. Uh, but she told me when I was in the area, let her know and she would hook, hook me up with some trail magic. So I'm looking forward to that, whatever that happens to be. 
anyway, um, I gotta make it another two miles, two and a half miles, and then I can get some, go hitch in, uh, take a shower, and then hitch into town and get some free, get my resupply on. Can't wait. Battle of Fox Gap. A Confederate General D.H. Hill's division struggled to hold the gaps of South Mountain on September 14, 1862. Fighting here at Fox Gap raised throughout the day. Around 9 a.m., General Jesse L. Reno's corpse attacked Confederate General Samuel Garland's lines approximately three quarters of a mile south of here and began pushing men north. Interesting. So this was a uh, Civil War battleground. Brigadier, uh, on the morning of September 14th, 1862, Brig Brigadier General Samuel Garland, Jr. of Lynchburg, Virginia, fell mortally wounded while leading his men. Interesting. Well, trail goes that way. I'm almost to my destination for the day. Which is good because I'm fucking starving and tired. Alright, so I just entered the woods uh, next to Fox Gap where that battleground, uh, Civil War battleground is. Um, I've got eight tenths of a mile to the Dahlgren campsite. I am pretty wiped out. My feet hurt. And I definitely need some calories. Can't wait to get there. I'm going to take a quick shower. Hitch into town, hopefully to get some resupply, hitch back up to the trail, and then camp there. It's point two from the campsite to the road, so I'll have to do that section three times. Which is not ideal, but I'm definitely not leaving my pack. So, alright. Uh, point eight, I can do point eight in my sleep. Trails, this section of trail will go smoother. The last section of trail was pretty rocky. Except for the last little bit. But, uh... This trail... This section at least looks pretty smooth. I've got a beautiful field on my side here. Can't really see it from where I'm at, but you might be able to see it better. And then... That's Fox Gap back there. It's 2 o'clock. It's all downhill to this campsite. I'm at the northern end. On a sitting rock, just sat down for just a second. My backpack's still on, I'm not taking my pack off. I'm just gonna stop for a minute and then just keep pushing it. Oh wow. So this trail appears to be uh, an old road bed. Uh, which doesn't really surprise me, seeing that we just passed the uh, Civil War battleground. Uh, it's kind of uh, awe-inspiring to think that 100 and 180 years ago, uh, 60 or 20, uh, 140 years, 160 years ago. Sorry, it took me a minute to walk in math. Uh, so, like 160 years ago, men were fighting. And dying where we walk now. I really like to visit Gettysburg while I'm down here, but I don't know if I'll. I don't know if I will. I'll at least think about it. I promise you that. I just took a cold shower. I mean, this, this place has hot water. I just didn't want to take a hot shower. I took a cold shower. I'll probably gonna hitch into town, come back here, wash my shirt, maybe wash my kilt, uh, but first I need to go into town and get some food, I'm starving, I will talk to you guys later. So this is a Dahlgren, Dahlgren pack, packing campsite, campground, uh, Obviously, I won't be sewing you the women's side, but uh, we've got two toilets, urinal, and two showers. 
I just came in here and took a shower. Also some sinks. And there's another sink on the back of the building. Someone is even nice enough to give us head and shoulders shampoo. So this is food for four days. I have two packages of double cheddar sausages. I have a pepperoni, a couple eight ounces of cheese, tortillas. I was gonna buy peanut butter, but I forgot. I have one package of mashed potatoes, which I'll probably eat tonight. I have five of these smart bowls. Uh, decent calories, decent protein, and they're tasty. I got 10 of these packages of cheese, white cheddar. I've got some sour candy, and I've got four packets of ramen uh, in my sriracha. And that's it. It's not a lot of food for four days, but it'll have to do.